What is going on, you sexy beasts? Hey, um, I've got some visitors coming over in like two minutes. Mr. James Newbury and Kayla. I'm not sure if James watches my vlogs. Don't know if he's seen the smack talk that I've been putting out here about my gym being better than his and all that, but <laughs> hopefully he doesn't watch my vlogs. James, do you watch my vlogs? All the time. Do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've seen photos. Look at this, it's massive. I may have talked a bit of smack about maybe having a better gym than you. I did hear about that today when I was at Alpha Fit. They did mention that to me. <laughs> Still a work in progress. Dude, this is so cool. So good that this is outside. You get to train in the sun, soak up the rays. Daddy, yeah. can you take that off? I can. Oh. Have yeah, you good. done any hand, handstand push-ups on it yet? I have. I did a few strictes yesterday. Trying to work on my strict movements. Excellent. You might get licked in the face a bit. Chip! <laughs> Chip, no! Chip! Come on! Chip, don't do that. Good boy. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's so good. It's so know. good that you can... I was like, oh, I've got no walls around here. What am I doing? And then I was like, oh, I remember they had an ATC. I asked them if you could hook me up, and they did. So. Amazing, so good. These are, I want to get one for mine, so if I do want to do a workout outside, I don't have to run inside and do handstand push ups. Yeah. And also the roof. Like, it does work, but there is like rigs on the wall and things like. This would be really good to have. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, and it's a pet toy. It's already starting to destroy it. It's a very expensive pet toy. Yes. And it's good that you've got a high height for the rope. Like my rope climb height is only at where, say, the rings are. Yeah. But you do really need that, you that do extra few. Oh. Yeah. It's going to be a lead, lead extra. Yeah. You need that. I know, I know. <laughs> you need that extra bite. Especially if you go from the bottom. If you go like from cedars, you can do like a bunch of bites. Yeah. yeah. Might have to get an extra piece. Make it taller. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> try and match it. Yeah, try and match, try and match it. You can actually see it from the road. When you come down the road, you can see the rig stick out on top of the <laughs> That's house. That's the best. Yeah. You should just have like the drone come from all the way over there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what hey. Yes, I'm thinking. You said we're getting quite close. Maybe up against like one of these. Oh like, yeah. Attach it to here. Yeah, yeah, the sign, yeah. Sol yep, 365 yep. Gold Coast. Is that what you're talking about? I also have something else. Oh. Yeah, Just I've got something else that you can pop out here that will work up on your rig or on a stand somewhere. I'll have to show him. What, what is, is it? it? Ah. Hello? Yeah. I've seen them on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I've got one coming. Oh, James has your business idea. <laughs> oh, come on. Bleep. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, yeah, that's yeah, okay. Top, top secret. No, nah, I've got um, I've got a, I've got a few, I've got a few on the go. I've got one with me, but um, I'm gonna do some filming with that one. But when cool. when one arrives, I'll send it. What do you reckon, bro? Out of ten. It's a ten. It's a ten out of ten. It's a ten. Okay. If you just there's a sign that needs to go up, and once it's that's there, it's it's a nine point eight. Once the sign goes up, it'll be a ten. Got a space for the sign right there. Sold three six five Gold Coast. <laughs> No, I love it. I think it's so good and it's good to have it outside. You get to train in the sun, soak up some sun while you get to work out. It's perfect. I'm so, I'm so impressed that you put up a you put a whole concrete slab out here for the gym. I'm so glad you got it passed. <laughs> so uh, so your floor's falling apart, you were saying? Yes. Your rope's aren't very high. <laughs> yes. You haven't got a first pick handstand push up for. Right. I think I you've know. outdone me. Yeah. I don't know. I think you've outdone me. I've still got a bit of work to do. You've got parallel bars. I do have, yeah, you're gonna have to get some of them. You've got a limited different platform. Two. You've got two platforms? Yeah. Two. Okay. Yeah. Probably fit three over there. I, I reckon you get two. <laughs> I reckon you Just could. three platforms for no reason. I need to get my, I'll have to get some actual <laughs> surf in for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I have, two, I have two rigs. You got two rigs? I have two rigs. Yeah, that's not, that's overkill. <laughs> <laughs> that's just wastage. It's like a wasted. But you do have a bike erg now. So. Got a bike erg. Got a salt bike. What? What? Oh, you've got. You've got all the gear then. I've got a ski erg and a salt runner. Salt runner is not mine actually. It's Simone's. Yeah. I have, I'm holding on to it for, for a little bit. Yeah. Um, That's nice. They're expensive though. I looked at them. I got like five this yeah, yeah. Yeah. You could, you've yeah. got plenty of hills around here. Yeah. Don't need one as well. Which I think are pretty cool. Yeah. Um. What are you doing in the goalie, bro? So. There's two re two reasons. Number one is I came up to do some testing for a bobsled team. Yeah. Um, and two, Kayla really wanted to do some relaxing, so that's number two. Yeah. Probably more important. No, <laughs> nah, definitely the bobsled team was number one. Um, uh, we were supposed to do some testing back in Adelaide, but I was the only one going to be testing down there. And then uh, a guy from Queensland messaged me and said, why don't you come up and test with us? So yeah. I said, yeah, 100%. So then it actually ended up being two people from Adelaide come up, um, myself and another girl, Izzy. Cool. 
bobsled. That's so diff- like we're in Australia. Yeah, it's like the last sport that you would imagine yeah. doing. What's well, is it, what, is it even a, like a team that competes? Yeah, only? yeah. So um, they had a team go to um, Winter Olympics in 2018. Um, a couple of guys are CrossFitters as well, so um, it's super cool. Um, and then, yeah, it's, it's like I guess Australia would I guess kind of be considered like a like a, a like a B class. Um, yeah. It's like not our main sport or anything like that. Um, we don't have like sled tracks everywhere, not like Europe and like Canada. Um, so basically, yeah, it's you kind of practice on the track and you kind of make yourself a like a wheeled push sled to practice your your takeoffs. Yeah. Um, and then if you want to train on ice, you have to travel. So you've got to travel to Europe, got to travel to Canada to get on the ice, get ice time and, and, and do the training. Yeah. Well, and how was testing... How does it go compared to the other yeah. guys? It was, yeah, it was super fun. I had a blast. Like, it, it's been a while since I've actually done any competing, competing. Like, you know, go real hard and, you know, get the best time you possibly can. Yeah. I remember this from, like, back when I was, like, a junior playing football and would go to the AIS for testing um, and it'd be like, okay, we're doing the beat test and then we're going to do a, like, 40-meter sprint test and a max vertical jump. So it kind of reminded me of that, which I absolutely loved. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it was really good. I ended up running... 30 meters so my pb 30 meters prior to friday was 4.05 and i ran a 392 um so maybe it was just an extra fast track or maybe i was just on fire but that was (laughs) good that's quick um and then uh we did a max broad jump did like a 310 um that was a pb as well um and then we did like a forward throw test with a shot put and then we did some power testing so we did power clean um power clean 1rm uh, power clean 140 I think um, I was saying this uh, to a couple of guys back home I reckon give it another couple of weeks after my arm heals up um, a bit more I reckon 150 would be on the cards yeah sweet um, gave it a little bit of a twinge in Olympic lifting comp a couple of weeks ago kind of strained my biceps so I was a little bit hesitant to kind of pull it really really hard I didn't want to do any more damage but yeah I think give it a couple of weeks maybe 150 would be there and then yeah. I back squatted with knee wraps on mind you like that was probably the third time I've used knee wraps um, actually second um, and I 3RM 200 sick that's so, so good yeah so it's like it's um, I think it's like I'm very very um, green when it comes to the bobsled and, and um, how everything works and the way to do things but I think it I think it um, probably puts me in a position where you know at least I can participate in trainings with the guys and um, you know if I can I guess learn how to do what's necessary for the team which you know i would you know put 100 percent into um and i can perform well on the ice then you know maybe i can um you know have my name thrown in the air so see how we go but i'm i'm excited kind of everything that they do which is you know power and speed and strength and you know that's what i really like about crossfit yeah it's you know being being really good at a big range of different things yeah. and you know those aspects sprinting and lifting weights is you know i really enjoy that and in the past i've really enjoyed long distance stuff like complete opposite to bobsled like yeah. you look at two ends of the spectrum bobsled which is push this heavy thing as fast as you can with a team and then drive it down an ice hill yeah and then <laughs> go and do um you know like a 10 hour iron man it's like one's like completely aerobic endurance and one's completely power and skill um dexterity and and driver control so i i don't know it's completely different but i like training everything so yeah it's like i'll have a blast kind of focusing on that for a little while yeah you know if a half iron man pops up and you know it's i'm able to go do it i'll just do it yeah (laughs) but if you know like i think for the next little while i'll just focus on you know getting strong staying fast getting over to Europe, getting either to America to do some trainings and see how I like the ice. I guess it's yeah. really like, I don't know what it's like. I might not enjoy it. I've got a feeling I really will because <laughs> you're going down this hill at like 140 Ks an hour. <laughs> and then they said you can pull up to like four Gs going around the corner. So that's like right up my alley. I was going to say, it's, uh, from what I understand, it's a pretty risky sport. Like yeah. it's pretty high, <laughs> like pretty dangerous, which is... Oh, it'd be so good. It's down your alley. Oh, sure. it'd be such an adrenaline rush. It's, it's kind of, I couldn't kind of feel like going around those corners, probably feel like taking off on a really big wave. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> just like, oh, it'd be fun. But then yeah. also, if you're also driving, you've also got three guys which you've got to look after in the back too. Yeah. <laughs> so if you make a mistake, you know, it's not just on you. It's like you've got them there too. So, yeah. so, so would you be a driver or not? Or would- I think what I think 
and this is like I'm probably I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure everyone starts off learning how to do driving. Okay. Um, uh, and then obviously you have like brakemen at the back and like pushers. Yeah. Um, basically they just push, jump in, and they, I guess, brake at the back. Yeah. Um, but then you've got the one driver at the front. Um, and I think I would start off doing that, um, and then if my pushing was good, yeah, and my driving wasn't so great then you'd, you'd probably be more inclined to go to the back and just yeah. do pushing and braking. And then if your driving is great, then yeah, you can obviously, you can go for, put your name forward to be a driver. Yeah. And then I think the way it works is you've got to attend a certain amount of races. You have to show that you can race competently without crashing <laughs> yeah. um, and show that you can actually do it well and get good enough times yeah. to then qualify a spot. Yeah, well... Makes so, me want to watch um, what's it cool running. Cool running. Yeah. I'm gonna watch cool running tonight. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. I actually, I'll probably chuck it on as well. To be yeah, honest. yeah. No, I think it's um, <laughs> yeah. So I think probably in Australia we're probably more like the Jamaicans when we just get a, a makeshift bobsled and drive it down the hill and, and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, like I'm as I said, I'm like super novice to all of it. But when they put up all the tests and I could see what was required, I was just like. I can like I like all those aspects of the training and what is measured. I like all the measurements. Um, Thirty meter sprints is kind of right up my alley, just because usually in a hundred meters I usually die in the last like fifty. Yeah. So getting that you know thirty to forty meter time really good and that takeoff really good, I really enjoy that and I love trying to perfect that aspect. Yeah. Um, and then you know if it's just about focusing on building strength, um, I've never actually been in a position where I just focused on strength. Yeah. I've always done strength plus long rides, long runs, um, swims and things like that too. So I'd be interested to see how I actually go just focusing on strength for a while and see how strong I could get. Yeah, well, yeah. I love it, man. Yeah, so, exciting. Yeah, so if it all goes well, who knows? Like, there's a really good crew up here in Queensland that I got to meet and they're all really good guys, super welcoming. Um, and yeah, they, you know, really happy to, to show me the ropes and, and answer questions whenever ne- yeah. like needed. So, yeah, yeah pretty and pumped. Th- does weight matter? Like, do you have to get heavier or lighter? Or- yeah, so it, I think it does come to an extent. Like, they, I think they would like you in a four-man bobsled. They would like you slightly heavier, but I think there's a weight limit. So, um, at my weight, like, I'm 88 kilos, um, and I think getting around that 93, 94 kilo mark would probably be ideal, but same speed and stronger. Yeah. Um, slightly stronger I think it gets to a point where the strength only gives you so much like there is overkill yeah so I think I'm probably pretty close to pretty close to the strength that I would need to be if I added maybe 20 kilos to my back squat um, and then after that if you know need be put on a little bit of weight I could probably do that I remember I competed in Cape Town uh, last year and I competed at 90 point five. Yeah, 90.5 kilos. Yeah. And I, I actually felt really good. I did feel heavy. I looked heavy. I see a photo and I'm just like, man, I look heavy. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I could probably get up to, yeah, like 93, 94 quite easily if I decrease the amount of cardio, which I have been doing and um, add extra calories yep. to the day. Yeah. Yeah. And so is this, um, is this a move away from CrossFit or is it like, is this another add on that you want to just give a shot as well? Yeah. Like Iron Man. Yeah. Well, at the moment, um, kind of, it's a, I guess, an add on. If, yeah. if it really, really intrigues me, which it actually is at the moment, like, t- to be honest, I haven't done a Metcon. <laughs> I haven't done a Metcon in quite some time. Um, I did one the other day uh, for a, a competition over in Barcelona. And, oh man, I was sore for like four or five days after it. So, um, it's not to say it's a transition out of CrossFit completely. Um, like I, I probably will do, I still will Metcon and still do things like that, but probably to a lesser extent. Um, and then, you know, see where see where I stack up in, in the bobsled squad. And if, you know, if it's, you know, if I'm really in the mix and really like a potential yeah, participant, yeah. then, you know, I'll probably focus a little bit more on that. Yeah. And then, you know, if, you know, push came to shove and there was a competition um, that, popped up and it was a, an opportunity to qualify for a sanctioned event or something like that and I was fit and I felt good yeah then why not for sure love it definitely so yeah a bit of everything really yeah yeah it's just like I wondered how good you could go competing in something like bobsled doing some maybe some 70.3s and, and then also yeah. doing crossfit at the same time I think if you're if you're pretty if you're savvy with your training I think you could excel in all of those 
But I think if you wanted to be absolutely amazing, you'd have to focus on more more, sure. more on something else. Yeah. So, yeah, I just probably depend on what I'm loving the most. Yeah. Um, and this seems to be like a really fun thing to train for. So, yeah. you know, if, if push came to shove and, and, you know, the guy said, hey, look, you're performing really well. We would like to like really invest some time into helping you upskill yourself. Yeah. Then I would say yes. Yeah. For sure. And then decrease he's, other he's stuff. He's not going back to Adelaide anymore. Oh, is he? No, Stay he's here. Staying here. Right. You can fly. See ya. I'm going to stay on the Gold Coast. You can, go catch a, you can go catch a plane. He's still staying. <laughs> fine, fine by me. Yeah. yeah. I've, got, I've got a gym here yeah. that I can train at. Yeah, everything he needs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sorry to interrupt no, you, but go. we have to go. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, we're going back to Adelaide. Yeah. I'm taking this.